Welcome to Algebra, Quadratic Graphs, Standard Form, Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. In addition to straight line graphs, represented by equations in slope-intercept form, like Y equals 3X minus 3, crossing the Y axis at negative 3 with a slope of up 3 over 1, there are curved line graphs like the parabola, with the equation y equals x squared, and the exponential curve, with the equation y equals 2 to the power of x. In this lesson, we will explore more closely the parabola, represented by a quadratic equation. The term quadratic simply means an equation containing a term of highest degree 2, a squared term, like 2x squared, representing the curved parabola shape like these two examples. The parabola opening down represents the path a ball would take if thrown into the air at a slight angle, starting upwards, but beginning to bend and slow down due to the force of gravity, peaking at the top, and then coming back down in the same way. The standard form for a quadratic is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and the most basic of these is y equals x squared plus 0x plus 0, or y equals x squared, as you can see in this graph, which opens up and sits right on the origin. This most basic parabola is referred to as the parent function for quadratics. Notice the y values in the table are the squares of each corresponding x value. Study these carefully for a moment. Pause the video if you need to. Let's take a closer look at the graph of a parabola and point out the important parts. Imagine this graph as the one previously described as the path of an object launched into the air at a slight angle, moving upwards, reaching the top, and then coming back down. The very top of the path, where the object reaches its zenith, changes from going up to coming down, is called the vertex, this one at the point 3, 4. This graph also crosses the x-axis in two places, the points 1, 0 and 5, 0, both called x-intercepts. These are also called zeros or roots. There is also a point where the graph crosses the y-axis, this one at 0, negative 5, called the y-intercept. The line that splits the graph down the middle into two halves is called the axis of symmetry and the equation for this one is x equals 3, the vertical line that goes through the vertex and crosses the x-axis at 3. These are all important parts to know about and be able to identify for any parabola, and there are ways to find each either by looking at the graph, like we're doing now, or by analyzing the equation without looking at the graph. First, let's examine the equation for this graph. We're looking at the full Desmos view, complete with the equation negative x squared plus 6x minus 5, and the equation for the axis of symmetry x equals 3. We can tell this just by looking at the graph, seeing the vertex point 3, 4, and the line crossing the vertex and x-axis at 3. How can we look at the equation only and identify the axis of symmetry x equals 3? We'll use the values from it to find this, which will also give us the x value of the vertex. Using the standard form of the quadratic equation, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we note in this equation the a value as negative 1, b as 6, and c as negative 5, and then use a formula that works to find the x value we need, negative b over 2a. Replacing the values 6 for b and negative 1 for a, we get the expression negative 6 over 2 times negative 1, which simplifies to negative 6 over negative 2, and finally x equals 3, the equation for the axis of symmetry and the x value of the vertex. To find the y value of the vertex, simply substitute the x value into the equation and solve for y negative 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 5, 
which simplifies to negative 9 plus 18 minus 5, which simplifies to 9 minus 5, and finally, y equals 4. There are several other aspects of this graph we need to point out. First, notice this graph is opening down, which you can clearly see, but you can also determine from the equation by looking at the sign of the value a. In this case, the value for a is negative 1, the sign being negative, which causes the graph to open down. This also means there will be a maximum value for y, which is the y value of the vertex, 4 in this case. In this graph we looked at earlier, the graph is opening up, and you can see the a value is positive, confirming that when the a value in the equation is positive, the graph opens up, and there is a minimum value for the graph, again, the y value of the vertex, 2.875 in this case. The value c from the equation is very useful in confirming where the graph crosses the y-axis, called the y-intercept. And you can see it crosses at 4 on this graph, which matches the value of c. On the other graph, you can clearly see the curve is crossing the y-axis at negative 5, which is confirmed by the value of c, which is negative 5. Let's practice. Here is another graph with the equation 2x squared minus 8x plus 3. We'll show just the equation for now, and find the important parts by examining this equation. First, we identify the values a, b, and c as 2, negative 8, and 3, and start with the easy ones first. Noticing the value of a is positive, which means the graph will open upwards, and the value of c, which should be the y-intercept of the graph. Then we use the formula negative b over 2a to find the value of x with the opposite of negative 8 over 2 times 2, which simplifies to 8 over 4, and finally 2, which means the x value is 2. We find the y value of the vertex by substituting x into the equation and working it through to find y to be negative 5. We show the graph, and indeed, we are correct for all these values. The y-intercept is at the point 0, 3, and the x and y values of the vertex are 2 and negative 5, which means the axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals 2, and the minimum value of the graph is the y value of the vertex, negative 5. Now, there is a way algebraically to find the roots, or zeros, or x-intercepts of a graph, and you can see those values here, but they aren't nice whole numbers, and we'll save that for another lesson using a special formula called the quadratic formula. More on that later. Let's do one more. The equation negative 3x squared minus 12x minus 5, a, b, and c values negative 3, negative 12, and negative 5. Opening down, since a is negative, y intercept the value of c, negative 5, x value using the formula negative b over 2a, worked out to be the opposite of negative 12 over 2 times negative 3, simplifying to 12 over negative 6, and finally negative 2 for the x value of both the vertex and axis of symmetry, using it to substitute into the equation to find y, which works out to be 7, also the maximum value of the graph. And we show the graph to confirm all these values to be correct. Thank you.